a reading program that I'm going to show you, Bob knows actually about 40 different words. And what we do is we show them a picture of one of the stimuli. This is Dr. Boysen, and, uh, Sally, we call Sally. And then we ask them to find the name that uh, represents that stimuli um, amidst all these other distractors. The, the stimuli that comes up and all the position of all the choices are all randomized by a computer. So he's not memorizing positions or screens. Um, Per se, because of course that's what you would do. Bobby, you back in here. Bob. Where's Sally? Can you show me? You got it. No. Where's Sally? That's it. Look, it's me. Where's Clary? He likes to check it out. He's looking Everybody's, for the food. Yeah, if someone could shut that door, that would be great. Where's Clary? Good job! Excellent! You can see, uh, he chose my name. And that's right. Not a fabulous picture, but... Sally! Sally! Excellent. Good job. <laughs> Red. That's right. So they have five different categories of stimuli. This program only has four. They know um, tooth names, human names, food names, and color names. And we've also just started to teach them emotion terms. Um, but that's not my thing. This program will keep it separate. In uh, and, and hopes that. Um, we will be able to communicate obviously better with them um, on the computer. Um, and using English words, you know, really proves the point of how intelligent they are. Because you know, we can very easily just use graphic symbols um, instead of actual like uh, uh, English words. Uh, but they they have quite a capacity for you know, representational language, and they're able to understand. Ready, Bob? Banana. Where's banana? Anybody want to come over here and see this person? Look, it's you! Bobby! Where's Bobby? That's right! Good job! Chimps do recognize themselves in a mirror. Um, they're able to, right around five years of age, they actually start recognizing that the image in the mirror is themselves. Harper is just starting to sort of understand what that is. He'll pick up a mirror and come look at the chimp in the mirror and he'll try to grab behind it. <laughs> sure. Now, we don't do sign language here. If you look at his hands, hey Bob, can you put your hand up? Up here? <laughs> but quietly. Um, he, their fingers are very, they're not meant, they're not as dexterous as ours. And, and really, um, this is much more efficient than teaching them sign language. It really is. And obviously, it would be. Okay, so, like, if they can't, they can't like, computer tell you something, something, if, like, they want to tell you something. Right, they can use the computer. Also, um, they gesture a lot. I mean, a lot. You can, you can say a lot without saying anything, okay. you know. Um, if they want to move to another cage, if they want to hang out with a particular individual, if they want a blanket, if they want food, if they want, I mean, they'll tell you if they want a TV channel changed, they will gesture and they will tell you. And then you ask them, you know, yes, no questions, and they answer yes or no based on their body language. So really, um, we don't need them to talk back to us. We pretty much know, you know, what's going on. And, and you know, they understand things like, oh, do you ever hurt, you know, are you hurt somewhere? And then they'll be like, yeah. Here, right here, you know, wherever, and they'll present that body part, um, and we know then that there's something going on. Huh. Is, is that the, the does he move to any place larger than that? In this room? Yeah, all the animals have access to all the different cages. Oh, okay. But not at the same time. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they explained to you, Kermit and Daryl um, can't hang out with Bobby um, because he is uh, an outside male. Um, in, in ship society, it's the females that immigrate in and out of the groups, and so that's how they mix up their gene pool. So all the boys in a troop are actually related, so that's how they keep from killing each other, <laughs> from fighting. Um, 